Welcome traders, Mike from MS100 back here with you. Man, what a day we had in the markets today. We called it right to a T. We said we were going long yesterday in our video, and we talked about why we were going long last night on um, on our research, our live research show that we had last night. And man, we went right long at that 200 period moving average, and there was no looking back today. Um, we're going to take a look at what happened in the S&P, and then I'm going to show you the trade that we did take, and it did side up, and we're going to look through some other charts. So let's take a look at it. All right, here we are, the S&P daily chart. Let me remind you what we uh, ha the lines that we have drawn in here again. We have this downtrend line, this dark black line here, that's from March 2008. And we do have this possible neckline drawn in here on this possible head and shoulders pattern. Remember, shoulder, head, shoulders. Now, as we talked about yesterday, everyone's looking at this pattern. Everyone's looking at the head, shoulders pattern. It's all over the news. People on TV are saying it. All the traders are talking about it, and they're looking for a breakdown. Well, what happened today? We opened up right here, and first thing you know, the market started to sell. Now, we did tick down a couple points below this line, and a lot of people did think that the market was mo definitely moving down. I was in the chat rooms. People were thinking it was moving down. TV, people were saying, oh, the bearishness is finding out in the market. And you know what? When everyone thinks that, you know what? It's probably going to go the opposite way. And now, I did notice that not too many people were talking about this 200-period moving average that we have drawn in here. And I did think that was a good area for a touch and go bounce. And sure enough, the market came down to that level and we bounced right off of it and there was no looking back. We popped back into this pattern. We closed definitely above the neckline here that we have drawn in. And we, now we do have the possibility if we break 900 tomorrow to go to 910 and then possibly all the way up to test this black trend line again. That'd be nice to see. The sarcastics do have the ability to cross up here and push us up. So that's what I'm looking for now that we did have that fake out through this pattern we did break down a little bit out of the pattern but we didn't close any candlestick we had that nice reversal hammer candlestick that did form today and if you want to learn more about candlesticks you can come onto our website we have a whole bunch of candlesticks up under our chart university section so now I do want to get into the trade that we took in the ERX today and show you how that set up so nicely with the market all right, here's the ERX. We had, notice see if you can barely see this candlestick from Thursday. We had this huge gap down, dropped down, rallied back up, and then sold off again with the market. Now, as this was selling off, I was starting to flip through some of my charts, and I did start to notice that we did, we were sitting on the 200 period moving average on the USO, and on the UNG, we had a possible double bottom. Now, while I also saw those, I pulled up the Exxon Mobil chart, which I'll show you right here. Notice on the Exxon Mobil chart, we had the big down bar after the gap down, and then we rallied, and we just continued to rally throughout the day in Exxon Mobil, and we actually held it the rest of the day. So I saw that was one of the leading um, oil stocks, and it was holding some strength. And then I went and took a, took a look at the market again. So let me bring the market up the five-minute chart for you. So I'm taking a look at the market here, and right in that same time area, we're sitting at around 887 on the S&P, 886 and change. And that's exactly where that 200 period moving average. And I did see that we had a possible little bounce on the USO, UNG, and Exxon Mobil was showing more strength than the market was at the current time. And then lined up with the, po the possible touch and go bounce of a 200 period moving average on the daily chart. Actually lined this one up pretty nice. And I did take that long in the ERX here. So I took that long right, right here in the ERX, right at this candle here at the, um, at the $24 level. And you know what? I was looking at it, and I said, you know what? My downside risk is 40 cents, but my upside risk is a little more than that. I mean, my upside gain is a little more than that. I was looking at the lows of the day, and I had all those indicators setting up on the charts for me. So I took the long, and sure enough, I ended up pretty well on uh, this trade here. You look at the end of the day, we rallied all the way to 25.31. I did sell half my shares at the end of the day here, which was a nice rally. We had a little pop pop down and pop back up here at the end of the day. Um, I do want to show you a couple more charts of how everything was setting up to be uh, possible short today. So let me take a look at some of those with you. All right, just for time constraints, I'm going to blow through these pretty fast. But look, the market can't show you all its hands. This is the material sector. Look, head and shoulders. Technology, head and shoulders. Energy, head and shoulders. This is exactly why, when the market is showing you its full deck of cards here, why I took that those long trades today. Um, check us out at the site ms100.com.